Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and I'm so glad that you're joining me today. If you're wondering why you got a voiceover Becca, it's because video Becca forgot to turn on her microphone and editing Becca considered throwing out this footage, but logical voiceover Becca decided to just do a voiceover instead. So we're going to salvage this footage and do the best that we can because today we are doing some last minute holiday DIYs. Now I fully understand that Christmas and most of the holiday season is finished, but I figured I'd still put out this video anyway because if you have some downtime between Christmas and New Year's, or if you're just wanting to save some holiday DIYs for next year, or you just need some arts and crafts, whatever it may be, entertainment, I am here for you. So let's get started with this first DIY, which is making a macrame ornament, and we're just gonna get right into it. For this project, you're going to need a clear ornament. I would say get a larger size ornament and you're also going to need either macrame rope or embroidery floss. I decided to make mine with macrame rope just because I thought that it would look prettier and it ended up looking fine. It is a little chunky, I'll be honest, but it looks great. So if you can use either one, whatever you choose, you could also use something like jute or twine. Just make it really simple on yourself because this is like holiday downtime. So the first thing I did was cut out, I think 16 pieces of macrame cord that were each 45 inches long. It'll really depend on your macrame design for how many pieces you're actually going to need. But I started out with 16 and I might've added in an extra one here or there. It just depends on your design. So I'm not gonna tell you exactly how many pieces you're going to need, but it's going to be in the ballpark of 16. And again, I made mine 45 inches long. Usually it's the length of the pieces that really trips people up so I did 45 inches long and I had plenty of extra so that should be a pretty good number for you so the first thing you're going to do is make a magic circle so you make a magic circle by folding your macrame rope in half and then taking the closed part or like the head of that rounded piece and pulling it up twisting it and then laying it back down and then pulling those center pieces out that is called a magic circle so that is how you macrame around round things and you want that circle to be around four like three and a half to four inches wide you will be able to pull that tighter after you put it over your ornament but just have it be this big for now and then to secure that to the table i just put like tape over it because this is what you're actually adhering each individual piece of macrame thread or cord to so you want to make sure that that's secure on your table so once you've done that you're going to add on all of your pieces by using a lark's head knot which is pretty much the basic way to add macrame cord onto a macrame vessel so if you don't know how to do a lark's head knot i suggest just looking up a quick video on some basic macrame knots and it'll be pretty simple Once you have all of your pieces added on to your magic circle with the lark's head knot, you're just going to spread out everything evenly across the circle of the magic circle and then lay that on top. Sorry, my dog is squeaking his toy. And then lay that on top of your ornament. And then you're going to take those two pieces, those extra pieces that were part of the magic circle, and you're going to pull those tight over the ornament. Once you've pulled that tight, you're going to tie them in a double knot, like the first knot that you make when you're tying your shoes, but you're making two of them. And then we can get started with our macrame design. In some tutorials that I saw, they said to actually remove it from the ornament, do your design and then put the ornament back on. I actually just decided to hang up the ornament on like a little backdrop holder that I have and that ended up working out really fine for me. So honestly, I think it's easier if you just keep the macrame on top of the ornament so that you know actually what it's going to look like as you're going. Because with mine, I didn't really have a plan exactly. I just started macrame and we have this product in the end so I didn't really have a design in mind for my macrame ornament and again you can do so many different types of things but this is how you get it started so if you have you know specific ideas for how you want to do it I suggest you take from this point and you run and you go and you just have so much fun doing your macrame ornament and here is the final product. I think that my macrame ornament is so cute. I really like the idea of having like a set of four of these with like four different designs. I feel like that would be a really beautiful gift for somebody. I mean, I know that the holiday season is over, but if you're still doing gifts <laughs> or if somebody really loves Christmas, maybe it'd be a great birthday present. But yeah, it's just really easy to make this one. And I think it'd be so cute. 
in a set of four with like four different macrame designs. For our next DIY, I decided that I wanted to make some Christmas earrings. Now, I decided to make them out of polymer clay. I have never made anything out of polymer clay besides a school project in sixth grade, but I see so many people on YouTube and elsewhere making polymer clay DIYs and stuff, so I figured it would be a fun thing to try, but spoiler alert, this one did not work out at all. Um, but here's where the footage came back in with the sound, so we're gonna let Video Becca take it over from here. This is me realizing that my microphone has been off the entire time I have been filming this video. Um, wow, that's great news. Okay, we're, we're gonna keep on trucking. So I flattened, or I like tried to get my clay to be uh, soft. And I think that I, oops, I think that I accomplished that. So we're in the money there. Uh, yeah, we're in the money on in that regard. I have my piece flattened out. Just one of them so far. The other one, I still need to warm up, so I guess we can do that real quick. I got my hot cup of water next to me. But I guess that I'm just going to, like, trim out. And I don't really have any, like, tools for this, but I guess I can use, like, a safety pin. Okay, so <laughs> my first attempt with polymer clay is going really bad. Uh, this is my gingerbread person, and I think on camera it probably looks great. Um, in person it looks terrible. It looks horrible and scary, and I really don't want to continue this one. So uh, we're gonna just pretend this never happened. <laughs> And we're gonna move on to the last thing that I wanted to try today, which was making salt, so, salt something. What is it called? Uh, I don't know, salt ornaments. Yeah, salt salt dough ornaments. Yeah, that'll be the last thing we do today because I'm, I'm ready to wrap this up. You know, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very sad about the audio situation, but this is just something that comes with the territory of being a YouTuber. Sometimes you're gonna fail really bad and do silly things like not turn on your microphone And it's gonna ruin your day, but you gotta keep going at the very least I'm glad that it was this video that I was filming and not something much more important uh, and needed so let's head into the kitchen and Make some salt dough ornaments. I feel like I cannot fail at this um, It's salt dough people have been making this for years kids make these so I should be alright I'll see you in the kitchen. We're in the kitchen now and I'm battling the sun rays, but I have this um, cookie cutter and it's a circle, obviously. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna like, when I put it, like stamp it into the salt dough, I'm just gonna like cut off this top part right here. Um, but I need to make sure that it'll actually like fit my dog's paw, because the entire reason I wanna do this is so that my dog's, my dog's paw will fit inside of it. Koopy. Come here, Koopy. We would be at max capacity. Okay, table salt, all-purpose flour, and water. I'm realizing maybe I should like half this recipe because I just do not need that much. Half a cup of table salt instead of one cup. Okay, here we go. Time to do the circles. So we really only need two of them realistically all right now how do i get these up without ruining them oh okay easy 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 that's a great circle and that might be a quarter or maybe a little bit thicker than a quarter but that's fine smooth out these edges okay dan can you help me out with stamping their feet <laughs> i just don't know about this because he has so much hair on his foot I don't know if it'll work. Wow. <laughs> looks good, hon. It's crooked. Yeah, it looks good, honestly. 10 wow. out of 10. We need to redo it. Still crooked. Looks perfect, hon. Leo's turn. You know what we could do? We could just shave all their hair. That way there's no hair on them. Yeah. Oh shoot, I'm doing it on my hand and not the plate. Pretty good though, honestly. It's not good. 
Maybe I could use my fingers to like indent more. All right, next one, Darn dear. It. How do they do this like so? We have space. He's like, what are you doing? Looks okay, that good. one's a little better. Looks good. Koopies are bad. I think we should try one more time with Koop. Okay. Looks good. That's it. That one's okay. That's All right. the one. Well, I'm just gonna deepen the marks with my finger a little bit. Yeah, that's a paw print for sure. All right, now I just need to remember whose is whose. I think I'm gonna just like carve a little C and a little L. Oh, you know what I need to do before I bake them? I need to cut out the little hole for the ornament holder. Okay, I just used a straw. <laughs> These are actually pretty cute. <laughs> okay, voila. I think, you know what would be kind of fun? It'd be kind of cute to like put an impression of a leaf or something. That would be kind of cute. Hmm, should I do that? Where's my little thing? Here it is. Instead of a leaf, I just have like a piece of our Christmas tree. I'm going to press that into it and see if that looks like anything. It smells good, that's for sure. Okay, not the coolest, but not the worst. So we'll go with that. Okay, so apparently I need to bake these for like two to three hours. So that's interesting. Um, so two to three hours in the oven at 250 degrees. So it's gonna be a while before I see you again, probably closer to nighttime, but I will definitely update you on how this goes. <laughs> it has been several hours. I've had an outfit change. I went to the grocery store. Man, I've been on it. So let's check out these ornaments. I think they're done. And you know what? The smell is taking me back to like kindergarten. Like these smell like something I did in kindergarten. And I probably did. You can see the foot imprint, but not mega well. I'm curious, ouch, as to how people get these to be like super imprinted. But actually this one's kind of cool. Check it out. I've got some salt dough in my fingernail, <laughs> which kind of sucks. But anyway, I'm gonna let those cool down. I'm now going to make myself a nice winter soup. And this is actually from one of my favorite Instagram accounts, this recipe. It's from Simply Living Well. And I just love her aesthetic on her page. Like, here's the recipe, just the photo for the recipe. It looks so good. So I had pretty much everything except I needed to get carrots and vegetable stock. So it is a, well, it's vegan. So it has, well, I think it's vegan. It's at least vegetarian. So it has onion, celery. Dang it, I forgot to get celery. Darn it. <laughs> okay, onion, celery, carrots, garlic, uh, vegetable stock, white beans, orzo, um, and then like kale, lemon, and then some spices. So we're going to make that really quick. Well, not really quick, but we're gonna make it and enjoy a nice dinner with Dan. And then I have an idea. I've been really wanting to make Christmas pajamas for us. And while I don't think that I'll do like the top, I could make some matching pajama pants for us. So that might be something that I do tonight. We'll see how I feel because yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna want to. We'll see how I'm feeling after I make dinner, but I definitely need to have like a good dinner and I haven't had like a good healthy, uh, not necessarily healthy, but just like a good filling like hearty meal. I haven't had one of those in a while, so I'm gonna pop on a YouTube video to watch. I'm gonna grab my water, and then we're gonna start cooking a nice hearty uh, dinner. <laughs> I cannot speak right now. <laughs>
the soup is cooking and I've set up my sewing machine and I'm gonna go pick out some fabric to make some PJ pants. Um, I think to keep it simple, I might just do like a drawstring PJ pant because I don't know how much elastic I have left, but I'm gonna go see what I have. And then I also have a pattern that I haven't used yet that is a men's and women's pajama pant because I realized Daniel is bigger than me. <laughs> so I could like maybe self draft something for him, but I'm gonna see if the pattern has like one specifically for men and then I'll do like a pants pattern that I already had that I really like. Um, so we'll see what I'll find. I'll be right back. Here are my findings. So I actually don't have enough of one of these fabrics to make two pants, I'm pretty sure. So I just grabbed two flannels that I liked and I thought that we could just have like matching adjacent Christmas stuff. Um, maybe there'll be enough, but I kind of doubt there'll be enough to get like two pants out of these. Um, maybe we could get two pants out of this one. We'll have to see. But for the pattern, this is the pattern. It's like a very simple PJ pant pattern and it's just sizes extra small to extra large unisex so i think that i'll cut this one in daniel's size okay based on measurements i think i'm just gonna make him a medium i might do like between a medium and a large just in case i don't know i'm nervous that it won't fit him if it doesn't it's not the end of the world uh because this isn't really like super I, I got all this fabric for free but it would just be a waste of time if anything but you know what i found this piece and i might have enough fabric of this to make us both pants but this is just regular cotton fabric it's not flannel so it wouldn't be as warm but this flannel is like thinner flannel so i don't know if it would really be that much warmer anyway so i don't know if we should go matching or if we should go warm i'm i think i want to go matching i'm gonna cut out the pattern <laughs> Um, there's not enough of either of those two fabrics to really make this. <laughs> um, wow, so I guess we're gonna check this out and see where this goes. It is a bit thinner, but I was kind of leaning more towards this anyway so that we could be matching. But I just don't know if we're gonna be able to get two of these pieces out of it. I'm thinking we're not. I think there's only enough here to make one pair. Well, my friends, this is one of the tragedies of sewing. <laughs> I really don't wanna do this and like spend the time to do it unless it's going to be exactly what I want. So I am going to not make the pajamas. I'm sorry, that was a little bit anticlimactic. I will make another video another time of making matching pajamas for Daniel and I because I think that would be really, really cute. He would probably hate it, but he would still wear them because he loves me and then he would realize that they're super comfortable and he should just wear them. I honestly think that's what would happen. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me. I had a great time with you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you haven't already because my uploads over here are just slightly sporadic. Um, hopefully I will be getting on a schedule sometime soon, but just in case you miss a video, I wanna make sure that you have the notification bell turned on so that you get a notification every time I upload. All right, my friends, I hope you have a beautiful Christmas and holiday season, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.